Welcome back guys, thanks for checking out today's video and welcome to RSX all wheel drive episode number six. I have exciting news because I finally found a gas tank that's gonna work, an OEM gas tank that's gonna work. Uh, like a lot of you have commented, I could definitely put a fuel cell in this car, but that is not what I wanted to do. I had multiple reasons why I didn't want to use an, a fuel cell in this car and realistically a fuel cell will work no problem. Uh, you can make a custom one or you can adapt uh, off the shelf unit and just stick it in the trunk. These cars are a hatchback and I didn't want a gas tank that was going to share the same space as the passenger compartment. So what I wanted was to find an OEM gas tank that would fit in the OEM spot. Um, and I figured how hard could that be, right? Every single car out there on the road has a gas tank, but some of the unique characteristics of the RSX made it complicated to find one. I looked high and low, I tried multiple gas tanks that were readily available in North America. Unfortunately, I was not successful in finding one that was readily available in North America. However, I continued to search looking for Japanese vehicles or vehicles that were in Japan. Um, I started looking at used parts websites for Japanese vehicles and there were a lot that looked good and I found one that I ended up purchasing and had it shipped here and it's here and I'm gonna show you how it fits and I'm happy to say it fits very well. Uh, there are some modifications that you need to do to the car to make it work, but no matter what, there was, there's not gonna be any specific gas tank that would work perfectly in this. Although, what I should say is technically there actually is one. Honda did offer a version of the Civic that was all wheel drive in the same platform generation as the RSX and uh, I think it's the EM2 Civics. Uh, that was all-wheel drive. It was called the Civic Furio. Those cars are super rare. The gas tank for those, those cars has been discontinued long ago and finding a used one has proven impossible. I, if I could have got my hands on one of those gas tanks, I would have. I tried, um, it was just, I was not able to get one. Maybe one of you might be able to find one and use it, but I think the gas tank that I found is gonna be a much more viable solution than a Fur Civic Furio gas tank. So, uh, I'm gonna lift the car up, I'll pull out the gas tank that I have, and I'll bring out the RSX original gas tank, and I'll show you guys what I mean. All right guys, so what I have laid out here is the original RSX gas tank on the left, and the new gas tank that I'm planning on using on the right. This gas tank is out of a 2016 Honda N-Box, which is a fairly popular car, I guess, in Japan. This specific gas tank, this style of gas tank, is out of what I believe is the first gen Honda N-Box. Uh, I believe it's something like 2012 to 2017, and apparently they were pretty popular. There's There was a lot of them made in Japan, so that should be good for us or anyone else that wants to get their hands on one of these gas tanks. It was not expensive. This specific gas tank was 80 US dollars. It costs a fair amount to get it here, but Realistically, if we can get a JDM importer to bring a whole bunch of them in, they would be fairly inexpensive to get your hands on. Um, all that being said, this is, I really like this gas tank. There's a lot of benefits to running this gas tank because it is a Honda gas tank. So integration into this RSX is gonna be super simple. The RSX has, original gas tank has its uh, fuel filler neck on this side. So does this gas tank, it has it over here. and it, basically looks like the exact same size. So reconnecting the fuel filler neck shouldn't be an issue. Um, also, what is super cool about this is this fuel sending unit that I have installed in the gas tank is actually the one out of the RSX, original RSX gas tank. I was able to re easily remove it from the RSX gas tank and put it into this gas tank with no modifications whatsoever. It fit in and realistically, what that means is we can use this fuel sending unit and keep the, the fuel gas gauge on the original cluster happy so we'll know how much gas we have, which is really nice for a car that you wanna drive on the street. For a race car, it doesn't really matter. And if you're building a race car, you probably won't wanna go with one of these tanks anyways. So not a big deal. What is also really cool about using this original sending unit is I can just plug in the original wiring harness I can reconnect the fuel line and the car will be up and running. Uh, makes life super simple. I like simple and uh, realistically, there are limitations to using this sending unit. It is returnless style fuel sending unit. So you could, you could potentially max it out fairly easily with a big powerful turbo setup. 
Uh, my plan is to put an upgraded AM fuel pump in it and keep it returnless. And I should be able to get 400, 450 fairly easily out of this returnless style uh, fuel system. But if need be, I can convert this sending unit to a return style fuel sending unit. And then uh, 600 or more should be totally doable with this uh, style gas tank. Um, what else? Supposedly this gas tank is 35 liters, which I believe is just over nine gallons. So fairly decent size. Um, so I think that's a fair amount of information about this tank. Uh, I will put as much as, as much as I can about the information that I know about it in the description. So if anyone else wants to try to find one of these tanks, you can look it up there. If you have any questions, I post up in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. But like I said, this is a 2016 Honda N-Box all wheel drive gas tank. Should be as simple as that. I believe if you use a 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, if, that's, if you look for one of those, you should be able to find this exact same one. And uh, as long as it looks about the same as this one, you shouldn't have any issue using it on your RSX swap or possibly even other Hondas that are all wheel drive. Maybe this might work in a, an EK or an EG that's going all wheel drive. Those tanks are even bigger than the RSX tank. So I don't see why there wouldn't be any reason why you couldn't use one of these tanks in one of those swaps. Um, but why don't I uh, show you how this gas tank fits in the car so you can see what, what I'm talking about. Um, actually, before I do that, I should just go through what I've done to the RSX. Uh, in the previous video, I did mention how I kind of ruined the car, uh, joking, but uh, I did cut out the whole bottom seat area to try to make another gas tank fit. And also just to make life easier for test fitting. Um, because I've done this, it will make it easier to see how this tank fits inside because a little bit of mod, if you do want to use this gas tank, you are going to have to modify the floor pan or the seat pan, I guess it's actually called in the, in the passenger seat area to make this gas tank work. So like I said, I've cut all of mine out and I, I plan on re redoing this whole section in some flat sheet metal. Um, and I will eventually share with you how that all works out. But uh, this is what it looks like now before I put the gas tank in. So now I will uh, get the gas tank in there and show you what it looks like. All right guys, so here is the gas tank kind of positioned in place as best as I can by myself with this uh, jack stand. So as you can see, it uh, right now I do have it sitting on the diff, but it uh, has plenty of clearance around the diff and around the drive shaft, all around it all around the sides, lots of clearance, no issues whatsoever. It has the filler connection right where it needs to be to match up to the original one. And uh, I am super happy with it. What's also really cool is the, uh, the gas tank straps. I uh, test fit the original RSX gas tank straps and they are super close to working in the factory spots. They'll just take a little bit of modification and uh, I'll be able to reuse the gas tank straps from the original RSX to hold this gas tank in place. So, um, super exciting. I'm, I'm really happy that uh, I've been able to find this gas tank. What is also really cool is I did want to run a, an exhaust system on this car. I don't want to do something crazy like out the hood. Because this gas tank retains clearance like the original RSX gas tank, I will be able to run the exhaust system through here as it would in the original setup with the original gas tank. So that is pretty cool. Um, also, it fits well, like it doesn't hang down too low. It is not below any part of the car, so I'm not gonna have to worry about hitting it. Um, it looks like this thing is gonna work out really well. The only issue is that it does stick up a little bit higher than what would be the factory seat pan area. So why don't I uh, bring the car down a bit and show you what I mean in that regard. All right guys, so inside the car, because I have cut away the sheet metal part of where the seats go, you can get a good idea of how this gas tank fits. And uh, you can see it fits, it's close in one little spot here, but uh, everywhere else it fits really well. The big issue is if you were to 
wanting to use this gas tank, you would have to cut out a bunch of this seat pan area because in this area over here, it just sits too low and it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't clear the gas tank. So this is one drawback, I guess, about using this gas tank. If you want to use something like this, you will need to cut out this section of the sheet metal. And for me, I'm okay with that. Um, it, and realistically, if you are considering doing an all-wheel drive conversion on your RSX, you will you will already have to do a bunch of sheet metal work because the, the tunnel needs to be cut in order to clear the drive shaft. So in my mind, what's a little bit more sheet metal work to do to be able to have a nice OEM style Honda gas tank and without having to deal with the hassles of uh, a fuel, of basically a fuel cell either in the back there or making something custom that uh, goes in this place. I know there also is a sheet metal fuel cell that will fit in this space and in my mind that was my backup solution I would have gone with that but I first wanted to completely rule out any OEM gas tank um, and what I found I'm happy with this solution so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using this one so anyways I think that's about it for this video if you guys are still enjoying this content do me a favor hit the like button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and I'll keep updating you on these projects so yeah that's about it for now Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.